I can definitely say every major label and just about every project, 90% of every all the albums being worked on right now, in the U.S. market anyway, uses the site. You know, um, I mean, finding hot tracks and hot producers and great music is not something that's easy. And, and I'm saying that coming from an A&R background, mm -hmm. hundreds of CDs and thousands of beats and countless meetings, you know what I'm saying? So having um, one spot where you have like some of the greatest as yourself and some of the, the hottest up and coming in one place is just a great advantage. It was a great thing for me just, you know, um, bumping into these guys and then starting to use the system myself, mm -hmm. you know, it, it made my job easier. So I, I, I know the effect and why the effect that it's having now on the game because it's something that was needed. It's definitely needed because y'all giving people a shot to become entrepreneurs and have insurance, credibility, establishment from from the door up. I mean, it's very, very wise for people to have to be a part of this website. You know what I'm saying? Especially for me. You know what I mean? Like I I, I get on projects, but I'll get on projects through there. Or there's upcoming executives that starting their own label or they're doing mixtapes and they you know they want my sound you know i'm i'm a negotiator i'm a businessman first and foremost and people can be their own businessmen being on that site i mean like take you for example let's say as an established producer you might say okay i might have a meeting with shaw money mm -hmm. on monday like one of your episodes mm -hmm. showed you going to that meeting right mm -hmm. But let's say at the same time, let's say a new A and R jumps in at SRC, because mm -hmm. in this day is you know people as musical chairs yeah, in the industry. Yeah, new so people let's, come and go just exactly. like that. So now you got a twenty-one year old A and R that comes in. You know he was a baby for when you first was smashing the game. <laughs> so he's now learning. So it's like okay, but he goes on the PMP, he goes on the feature joint. He's like okay, top five. Let me listen to his music now. Oh, this shit is banging. So then, you as a producer, while you do have access to hit on the ground level, personal meetings, relationships you built in over the years, you still also use the PMP to keep up to date as you have new A&Rs, new managers. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, not only A&Rs, you have, you got artists themselves that are listening to music on the PMP yeah. directly. Yeah. You have the managers, mm -hmm. you know, it's different people that put their ears on the project. So you want to get them ears, as, as much ears as you can. You might be tight with one A&R at a label. You might be, you know, a, 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 um, a Mike Cameron might be your dude at Atlantic. Mm -hmm. But let's say, you know, Gene isn't. Right. But you still want a Gene to take a look. Yeah. You got to get as much looks as you can. Then on the independent side, there might be that dude that's sitting on 20K mm -hmm. that's saying, damn, how can I get the top quality music but I only got 20000 as a project? He might say, you know what? Maybe Fife might give me a break and hit me off for... And guess so, what? <laughs> I will. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If it's the right project. Yeah, that's right. If it's the no trash. You know, I'm definitely not trying to be involved in anything that ain't great exactly. music. Right. Hey, you know want to say too, you know, we're getting ready to start ARS, Advertisement Revenue Share. Okay. You know, put it this Tell way. Tell me about that. What's that? You know, it's like last year in 2007, it was reported that it was over $28 billion in total advertisement money on the internet. Out of that, you know, a good percentage is music related. So um, what we're saying is that, you know, if you're creating music, whether you're an artist, producer, songwriter, question comes to is that this is a big revenue stream. How do you get at that money? So we said with the PMP, you know, we got enough traffic that's coming in now. We can start the advertisement game, but we'll give the money back to the producers because they're the ones that's driving the traffic. More traffic you drive, the more money you should get. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to say it like this, you know, if MySpace and other sites ain't cutting you no money on that ad shit, then you need to come to the PMP, baby. You got to come to where the money's at. You can't say you're trying to get money and you're going to where there ain't no money at. You got to go where the money's at. But in order to say you're going to get money, you got to first put up that damn money. But that's business one-on-one. You can't say you're going to... You can't say, yo, I'm going to do a TV show, but I can't. I don't want to pay for a camera. For sure. 
You can't say you're a producer, but I want Pro Tools for free. You can't. You can't say you want a meeting. If What if you had a meeting with Jimmy Iovine in California, and he said, yo, get your ass on the plane. You're going to say, I'm not paying for the plane ticket? <laughs> You're not going to spend a night in the hotel? You better get there. That's a, a round trip from New York to California. What, Brad? You've been traveling all through the years. I mean, it depends when your book is. It starts around 400. You know? 400. <laughs> by the time you eat, hotel room, and all Jimmy might say is, you know, I'm interested, I'll get back to you. But you already understand, as a businessman, you got to put up that money anyway. Mm -hmm. The game is, if you're trying to get money, you got to put up money. You know what I'm saying? You got to. You got to put back you into put what you're in. doing, man. It's like with any business, man. You you can't you can't do it with nothing. Talk about the hardwood, man. Yeah. Look, fill this hardwood, man. Does this sound like it's free? <laughs> this is cost money, baby. You know what I'm saying? Top five could have just put another chain around his neck just to floss in front, but he said, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reinvest in my shit because this is the future, man. This is, you know, this is the money right here, baby. Product you know? is everything, man. Boom. That's right. You gotta get your product, man, in the right place. These, 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 these people are giving you a chance to get your music out there, so you need to utilize that too. And what's the, what's the, what's the links? PMPWorldwide.com. PaulMaryPaulWorldwide.com. Worldwide, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the producers from Japan, England, Australia. You know, the internet is worldwide, man. There's no law. First of all, music is worldwide. You know, if you're just thinking in your little hood or your little market in America, you're losing out. There's artists right now overseas banking tens of thousands of dollars. You got to open your shit up. If you're a producer, you got to open. You got clients all over the world waiting to pick it up, man. You can't be closed-minded. You got to be out there everywhere, you know. Let them little binary numbers, zeros, and ones crawl out there for you, you know what I'm saying? Let that digital shit work for you, man. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's Top Five TV. You're in here with the men from PMP Worldwide. Make sure y'all get on there and check it out. You heard? Yeah. I want to find a thing to save my life. So I hustle, hustle. Nigga, you get in my way while I'm trying to get mine. And I walk you, walk you. I don't care who you run with or where you from. Nigga, fuck you, fuck you. I want to find a thing that's in my life So I yeah. hustle, hustle.